better get to bed, cause the ghoul is coming after you tonight. That's right, so you better hide. Hi, Charlie Miller here. Happy, Happy Halloween. Halloween. I love you. over there. Hey, you ought to leave that studio door open. We're having a big party here tonight, you won't believe. And we having a good time. I gotta lay some things on you. First of all, I had the first good meal since I started this show, gang. You've been sending in for those sweatshirts, and I'll tell you, the money's just rolling in. So we like to tell you, keep those garden letters rolling in, and we're gonna tell you more about the ghoul sweatshirts over there. Later, in case you missed it, last week, yeah, there. Now I also want to lay upon you. Remember those little flimsy hunk of sheets of paper with the Beatles pictures on them we're giving out? Well, hey, who got together with WGAR, right? The radio station, 1220? Now those cats have money, right? And look at what we came up with, right? In there is Hey Use Beetle Freaks over there, right? Man, you open it up, and there's some more exclusive photos. Oh, don't hit the chip glass on the floor. Makes the camera bounce. <laughs> and we got some more exclusive photos of the Beatles over there, right? And also some of the ghoul. Remember we did that Beatles special many moons ago? Well, since then, you know, all the radio stations have been doing it, and especially WGAR has been making a gas of a Beatles special. So we got together with them, right? W-G-A-R 1220 brings back the Beatles along with the ghoul. And if you did miss that Beatles special that we had on, oh, about four months ago, we're going to replay it New Year's Day night. Huh? I know that sounds kind of uh, New Year's Day night. What's that? Well, it's uh, January 1st, 1972. Huh? Wrong. We're going to show that again for you. And, but if you like these, just send in $5, right? Cash, check, money order. <laughs> no, they're free, gang. We'll just funnin' with ya, right? And uh, we'll lay this on you. Just tell us how many you want, and we'll send them out. That's a good little thing, right? Spend that other piece of garbage we had. Of course, we got a new promotion department now, so that makes up for things, too, you won't believe. Listen, what's Halloween, right? Without the great pumpkin. So four, follow me. The ghoul's gonna show you the fine arts of carving a pumpkin tonight. Huh? There it is. We got a snappy little pumpkin here. You won't believe. Now, all you're gonna need to uh, carve your pumpkin, you know, if you got it there, you might want to get your utensils and carve along with the ghoul, so to speak, right? Get a big knife over there, right? And you got a little baby one, for all I'll show you what to do with that later, and a fork. Huh? Okay, and that's to carve out the pumpkin later on. I know it's a spoon. I'm just funning you again. Now, what you do with the knife, first of all, you can practice knife throwing. <laughs> no, I just kidding. No, you see what you do first. Hey, that wasn't bad, was it? Wait, let me try it again. Jim Booby Jim Booby. Ah, all right. <laughs> hey, no pumpkin's complete without a scar. I mean it. Now, to save time, I already did it, but I'll show you. You just cut along the top there, right? And then you pull off the top, <laughs> hey, and there you got it. <laughs> I'm telling you, I mean, it's a pumpkin, folks, but that's obscene, I mean it. Now listen, a lot of you think the pumpkin's just to carve out, right? I'll tell you what you can do with all the stuff inside. First of all, with the seeds, now that's something in itself. Figure you're out on a date with a girl, your first date, right? Want to really impress her? You show her how many seeds you can jam in your mouth and spit them out one at a time, right? I mean, that'll really get her. You can bet your life when you call her for another day, she'll say, yes, I will. Or suppose you're out with a bummer, right? And you want to gross her out? You shove the seeds up your nose and sniff them back at her, right? <laughs> yeah, yeah. And you can bet your booty she'll never call you again. <laughs> or you can eat them. No, ha, patooing. Uh, you know what else you can do? 
You take all this garbage, right? Zap! Whack her right on! Oh, sorry for it. <laughs> hey? And you stuff in an old white sock and send it to your homeroom teacher. Yes, sir! Well, I'll show you the truth. Now, if you don't, whoop, whoop, if you don't want to do any of those things, get and carve the pumpkin. Well, I want to tell you something. Every Halloween, I do this, right? It's Ripley's Believe It or Not time and yippee ki yay oh I do this every year. You know what happens? I'll tell you anyhow. <laughs> I get a magical pumpkin, right? You're going to see throughout the show, I'm going to carve it. Because if you want to do a good job, you know, to get the little face in and everything all around over there, you got to take your time. So I'm going to be carving it throughout the show. By guarantee you, my pumpkin will... Hello? My pumpkin will be different from your pumpkin, as you will see, because I make magical pumpkins. So I'm going to start scooping it out for, just get in there so you can see the fine technique of pumpkin scooping. Wow, we see Frankenstein conquers the world. Oh, that feels gookie, man. I mean it. Hey, hey, a little bit for the crew over there. <laughs> oh, yeah. Don't you love it? Hey, don't you love it? Oh, yeah. Don't you love it? 